he's now paying the price by accompanying me silently. <laughs> In Ahmedabad, Gujarat, there's a shop. What is the shop called? There's a shop. In Ahmedabad, Gujarat, there is a shop. What's it called? The Hitler shop. <laughs> it is. It's called the Hitler shop and people are buying clothes there. There's a t-shirt for sale with Jim Morrison from the doors. There's a t-shirt with Superman on it. And the owner of the Hitler shop, he says, I didn't realise who he actually was, but now we know he was a bad man. Now we know he was a bad man. We were not aware of that fact. We were not aware of that fact. But other people, they know that. And that's why there's lots of controversy over the Hitler shop. Hitler shop. Hitler shop. It's not a good thing, they think, mainly because the people of that area are famous pacifists. <laughs> This is, is about a little story you may have seen recently that has been doing the rounds about Clint Eastwood. Has anybody seen this? No. Clint? Yes. Ah, you have. I shall just try and make it apparent in the music what, what Clint Eastwood has been doing. <laughs> he walks onto the stage. He gets onto the stage, he talks into the microphone, he says, So I got Mr. Obama sitting here. Mr. Obama, what? You told lots of lies. What do you want me to tell Mr. Romney? Because I can't tell him that. You're crazy, Mr. Obama. Clint Eastwood walks onto the stage. Everybody is a bit uncomfortable with his speech because he's got an empty chair and he's saying to it, hey, Mr. Obama, um, what do you, you made all these promises. Oh, you're absolutely crazy. What do you want me to tell Romney? All these promises you made when you're running for election. Miss. Mr. Obama is now on Twitter going, this seat's taken. And Mia Farrow and Zach Braff are getting in on the act. It's called Eastwooding apparently now, and lots of people are having pictures of themselves taken with an empty chair and sort of talking to the empty chair. Have you not seen that? Have a look. Eastwooding. It's the latest craze. It's like planking. What's you know, <laughs> <laughs> As demonstrated by my lovely assistant. Silent, silent w. <clears throat> so, Eastwooding. Uh, so you could talk to that stool now. There's Barack Obama on that stool. Right. Da 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 Hello, Dick. Hello, Liz. Shall we get married? <laughs> yes, please. Let's have a drink to celebrate. Woo! Lilo has got a new film. Lilo has got a new film. Lindsay Lohan has got a new film. Lindsay Lohan and a guy called, um, it's got a funny name, hasn't he? What's it called? Grant Bowler. Grant Bowler is Richard Burton. Oh, we've been married a while now. Should we get, yeah, let's, let's get a divorce. I know, let's have a drink to celebrate. Hooray! La 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 Lindsay Lohan is Elizabeth Taylor, of course, with 
lots of little flowers in her hair and grabbed Bowler, who I don't know, does anybody know what he did before? Is Richard Burton, I suppose he looks quite appropriate or they wouldn't have picked him. Shall we get married again? I like you. <laughs> okay, let's have a drink to celebrate. Way! La 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 This is the 60s. Yeah. La 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 la. Okay, let's. We've been doing that a while now. Let's get divorced and have a drink to celebrate. La 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 la. Liz and Dick will be on Lifetime Television on November the 3rd, if you want to catch it. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> uh -huh. it's his... <clears throat> Is there any, any requests for my um, lovely assistant? <laughs> no. Also, also. Marcel, Marcel, yes. Now, where's the rest of this? I, I work as an archivist for Reuters and I like to improvise, usually with keyboard and drum machine, on stories of the day. And um, I think that's it, because I seem to only have one page of this one. It was going to be a great piece about <coughs> from Croatia about the largest cappuccino that I'm very sorry to not bring you this from Zagreb and the baristas that were making this huge cappuccino, but I think the other pages are in my bag. So <laughs> just have the image in your head of the largest cappuccino ever. And um, I'll leave you with them. That's Jude Cowan, uh, accompanied by Paul Wadey, and her World News Vision! We're not worldy! We're not worldy! <laughs>